Hello, friends and family, and welcome to our boring meditation stuff for October 14th. These last couple of videos have been a little long, so <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll talk briefly about um, a, a quote from a Vipassana teacher we met in Nagpur, actually, um, and he was asking the volunteers um, at the center, the, uh, the volunteers who run the course. So some of them have only taken one Vipassana course. You need to take at least one course before you are permitted to volunteer. You can't just show up and volunteer. Um, but some of them had only taken one course, so he was actually talking them through the meditation practice itself and clarifying doubts. And he asked everyone what the purpose of Anapana meditation was. So in a 10-day Vipassana course, you begin with three days of Anapana meditation. And everyone gave him these answers, like um, you know, sharpening the mind and um, making our awareness very pointed and piercing and... Um, precise, and samadhi, and <laughs> all these sorts of answers. And he sort of laughed and shook his head and he goes, no, no, no. Um, it's just about finding out what kind of mind you are carrying. And um, I think this is, a, this is a bit of a self-referential answer. This is a bit of a sort of recursive answer, right? Because the process of Anapana meditation itself changes the kind of mind that you are carrying. So by the end of three days of Anapana meditation, you are quite focused. You are <laughs> a little more precise. Your mind doesn't wander so much. So, um, But what he was getting at is that um, Anapana has this quality where if you are highly distracted, if you are, your mind is really wandering away from you, you know that by doing anapana. You don't know that uh, if you just sit down to work for the day. So I, I go to work or I'm working from home or I sit to read a book or I make some plans. Whatever it is that I'm doing with my life, it's not always immediately apparent that my mind is scattered or angry, or sad, or anxious. I, I don't always have an indication that, oh, actually my mind is really like this. Sitting down to do Anapana meditation is that. I will tell you <laughs> without a doubt, right, that your mind has a certain characteristic and that it keeps coming up and it keeps coming up over the course of 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. This quality keeps emerging. Oh, okay. This thing is there. This thing is there. And that in and of itself is not necessarily that useful. But then you can say, oh, okay, is Anapan meditation kind of eroding this slowly? Am I able to hold my attention? Um, or is it still with me? And um, it can be informative for us to use that information outside of meditation. In our everyday lives, we might say, oh, okay, I seem to be really angry at such and such person. I seem to be really disappointed in someone. What can I do with that information? Is is it justified? Is my anger justified? Um, probably not, right? If I'm angry for a full 20 minutes, if I can't get over my anger even in that time span, how angry have I been up until that point? How angry will I be after I meditate? Might I say something I don't mean? Might I act in a way that I will regret? Um, I can keep some tabs on myself. So what kind of mind are we carrying? A useful tool.
<laughs> beyond just anapana meditation uh, for its own sake. But it is worth it for its own sake. Um, I'll leave everyone with that for today. I hope that you're taking good care of yourselves and taking good care of each other, uh, everyone around you. I will talk to you again tomorrow. Goodbye.